Ryan. Oh, and hey, anybody see Captain America Civil War? Anybody see that, Miss Ryan? Yeah. Woo! Is also, well, I will say when I see it. Because here's the thing, it was also Mother's Day this weekend, as I said, and despite my best efforts to convince my wife that Twizzlers and Junior Mints count as a Mother's Day brunch, <laughs> she was not buying it. Now, Captain America Civil War might be a little hard to follow for those of you who haven't seen the 12 other Marvel movies. <laughs> but all you need to know going in is that half of the guys are fighting the other half of the guys because of reasons. Speaking of Civil War, uh, North Carolina is in the news. It's true. It's true. A tow truck driver, a tow truck driver in Asheville, North Carolina, who supports Donald Trump, evidently stranded a disabled woman on the side of the road after he saw a Bernie Sanders bumper sticker on her car. Hard to tell what side you're on. Telling the woman that she was obviously a socialist and that she should call the government for help. He then drove away on a road. I assume he paved himself. He says, The guy says whenever he deals with Bernie supporters, they don't pay him, as opposed to the Trump supporters who make Mexico pay him. But this guy did it for the best possible reasons. He said, I think the Lord came to me, and he just said, get in the truck and leave. And when I got in the truck, you know, I was so proud. That, that does sound like something Jesus would say. It's like the story of the Good Samaritan, where he sees an injured man stranded by the side of the road and is about to help him, but then realizes he's got a Canaanite bumper sticker, and he peels out in his chariot, yelling, make Samaria great again. <laughs> Meanwhile, I don't think, I don't think I can... That's going to be blurred. <laughs> Meanwhile, in international news, the government of China has announced that they're banning live streams of women seductively eating bananas. <laughs> Did you hear about this? Did you hear about yeah, this? Yeah, I heard yeah. about it. Yeah, it's it quite hurt. disturbing. This is terrible news. Because <laughs> now Chinese teenage boys have to resort to the Sports Illustrated produce issue. <laughs> Officials say it's because the produce issue would have people with fruit. <laughs> Doing sexual things with vegetables. Okay. <laughs> Officials say, we'll send out some footnotes on that joke. Officials say, <laughs> Officials say the videos are pornographic and that they encourage viewers to break laws and harm social morality. So true. Rarely do these videos end in a stable long term relationship with a banana. <laughs> but not everybody sees this as pornography. Here to talk about this controversy is someone who has participated in a number of these live streams. Please welcome. The banana, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Mr. Banana. Hey, that's the name of my most popular film. All right. All right. <laughs> Mr. Banana. Mr. Banana. Mr. Banana. How do you feel about this Chinese censorship? It's wrong to call it porn. It's art, baby. It tells the story of a lonely woman who needs potassium and a brave hero who rises to the occasion. It's basically the English patient. I don't know. Well, I don't know about that. It looks more like porn than art. Hey, potato, potato. By the way, if you want to see porn, you should see a woman eat a potato. Mm-hmm. Skin on, fully loaded. It's nice. All right, uh, thank you, thank you, Mr. He Banana. Thank you. Sir. He has a freebie for you right now. Oh yeah, Mr. Banana. Right. I'm going to bring down. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Banana. Thank you, Mr. Banana, everyone.